How do you play Torbjorn? Why do you play Torbjorn? What's he good at? And for those of you that are really, really smart, what is Torbjorn's contribution to map control? What is his signature contribution to map control? In other words, how does he contribute to like controlling space? So you have heavy spam on main. In other words, you're, you are not individually particularly good at dealing with angles because you don't have very good range. So you don't have very good range um, and you're not very mobile. So chat, you have to understand that heroes that often flank or take angles are generally heroes that have good range or and are good at mobility. Torb is one of the few heroes in Overwatch that don't have good range, that doesn't have good range and doesn't have mobility. Symmetra is one of the other ones, right? That's why those heroes are very limited in their playstyle is because they can't, their, their map control is very simple. However, you do have a turret. And turret absolutely can help you with map control by controlling an angle separate from you. Because the idea of turret isn't that you just stack it behind your Reinhardt shield and oh, it just spam, 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 extra spam. That's something, it's better than nothing, but it's not optimal. Because number one, it's not putting pressure on another angle. And number two, it gets broken easier. You know it's worse because it gets broken easier because the Reinhardt drops a shield and it's instantly broken. So what you do want to do with your turret is you want to use it to discourage angles because it's not going to kill anybody in angle. It's not even going to be putting pressure on an angle that much, but it will discourage or be annoying on any enemy team that tries to take an angle on you. Enemy tracer flanks, but you have a turret right here. As she's flanking, if she comes this way, you'll know. As she puts pressure on the angle, it will pressure her back. Right? Enemy Hanzo flanks here. Genji flanks here. You will know. Not only will it shoot and hurt that angle a little bit, you will know. Because it will fire, right? But also, they have to take time to break it before they even use the angle because turret will kill them otherwise. So turret's like, turret is literally like a burglar alarm. That's really what it is. Turret is a burglar alarm that alerts you that something on an angle is wrong. And not only is it a burglar alarm, it's a burglar alarm that takes a little, little hammer and whacks them in the shins. Ow! You know? Can you imagine waking up in the middle of the night and you're like, ow, 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 stop! Ow, you know? There's your house burglar, your cat burglar, you know what I'm saying? That's what turret's for. Now, turret is obviously worse against longer range heroes because it's, they can break the turret faster, so its role as a burglar alarm lasts shorter and it puts less pressure because it's outside of the range. But even then, it can still contribute. So what I'm looking for you with Torbjorn is put pressure on main. Obviously, respect the angle. If you see somebody in the angle, don't ignore it. You need to pressure it. But you don't really prioritize using the angle as much. You pressure more on main because that's what you're better at. You're, you don't have a lot of range. You're not, uh, you don't have a lot of mobility. But your turret needs to be on a location that pressures the angle. And you have to decide what angle is most relevant, right? So you look at the situation here. Can you pressure this angle over here and pressure this angle over here at the same time with your turret? Not really. So chat, where should we, where should we do you think we should position our turret in relation to the enemy team? Don't give me a specific position, but what angle do we think we should try and control with turret? Left side, probably left side, okay? Probably left side, yeah. I, for your turret, um, maybe you could put it inside here to deny the back left side. Maybe you could put it... Um, I don't know, maybe you could put it inside here, right? To, to deny inside right side, to like let you know if they start to flank. For high ground, you could put it here, but that might be that might be almost too easy for them to break from too far away. So there's options here. So I, I, I'm not, you know, a Torb scientist. I'm not gonna tell you which one's best. Um, I'm not gonna overanalyze it because I don't think it's gonna be worth it, but I do wanna see you to put some effort and some thought into how you use it. Uh, and, and we see from there. Another thing you can do with your turret as well is you can use it the, uh, listen to me, <clears throat> you can use your turret as another angle. Chat, how could we use our Torb turret as another DPS angle, not as a burglar alarm? How could you use your Torb turret as a mini tracer? Where could you put it? You could put, on the, you could put it right here. What if you put your turret right here? Do you notice where it's positioned? It's not just an off angle, but it's an off angle where your team is actually fighting them. So where your turret is now is obviously an off angle. 
But the, the, the only purpose for that offing is to build old charge, right? Because you guys can't fight here. You're not going to fight here, so it's going to break, and they could break it. But if you put it here, they either shoot it or, your, your, or they shoot your team, and your team will be punishing them at the same time as turret shooting. So I'm not really... I don't really care how you want to use it, but it needs to either be used defensively as a burglar alarm or aggressively around where your team wants to take a fight. Now keep in mind, the issue with this turret and the issue with the turret over here is both of them are vulnerable to being somewhat, posture check, thank you, um, are vulnerable to being somewhat useless if the enemy team paths in the wrong way. In other words, it's not like you're playing ball or tracer or somber who can like move around where the enemy team moves and take angles separately. Too bad. Um, turret is relatively immobile and has to be replaced. So you obviously might have to adjust your turret positioning if the enemy team goes on an angle where your turret just doesn't do anything. Right? All right, so let's see what we do. Let's see where we place the turret. So we place the turret here. I don't remember Torb turret cooldown. So I hope that you're going to be able to replace it before it breaks because it will break before the fight started. And there's the break. So 10 seconds. Um... I'm not a huge fan, honestly. I think I would like it earlier. So I'd like it maybe like here-ish, like even just a second or two, because my concern is now because the fight is impending, you're gonna be focusing more on spamming down chokes, which you should be, instead of placing your turret in a good spot. So what that means is you're gonna do a half crap, you're gonna do a half butt job of it, and you're gonna throw your turret somewhere where it's not gonna really do a whole lot where I want you to be focusing fully on spam with the knowledge that, hey, my turret's in a good location. Because if you look at the situation here, your turret doesn't do a ton. And, and you're lucky that it even gets anything done. Like you land some headshots here, but it probably only gets like 10% ult charge, if even that. So like, I, I would rather you place your turret ahead of time than risk not being have, having time to replace it uh, before the fight starts. So I'm not, not a huge fan. And now we see if you're gonna actually use your Torbjorn turret. So, so I appreciate that you're looking at these guys. Like these are obviously the guys that you need to be looking at. So that's well done. But you know, where's your turret? You know, Chief, like where's your turret? Nice. And I like you going back to main immediately as well. Okay, so is our turret doing anything? Yes, now our turret's doing something. Now. I mean, this is what we want turret to do, right? Do you see this? Like, it's too late now. You guys probably lose this fight, but we want. Do you, do you see what this Hanzo has to do? There's Stormbow, and he's half HP. You know, that's what turret's for. And you know he's there now. Uh, keep in mind. Um, this turret, chat, what do we think about this turret? What's the purpose of this turret? So we have to, whenever we place turret, obviously your first turret placement is completely arbitrary. Like you kind of, you might be able to adjust it directly before the fight starts, like as you see what the enemy composition is, but it's just kind of a guess. Like you don't really know what the enemy team is going or where they're, what they're running, but we have seen what the enemy team is running. We've seen what they're doing. What do you guys think about this turret? I think this turret is fine. I think this turret is fine. Like it, it makes sense. They've been utilizing this angle. They're playing Hanzo Genji. This will probably get work done. I don't have a really big problem with it. Now, again, you have to be flexible. You need to keep that third eye on the top of your head trained on this sucker. And you need to know if it's doing crap. If it's not doing crap, like if the enemy team all paths this way, you need to be able to adjust because, you know, mid fight, yes, it is worth throwing a turret if you need to, even if it's just into a corner over here, if you see that this turret's not doing anything. Um, so be willing and able to adjust that as quickly as you can, if necessary. Okay. Now, chat, can we, I'm going to take a quick pause. So, so, we, we, the reason why I'm being all over the place with this and I haven't really hammered anything home, again, no pun intended, is because I, I, I'm memeing about it, but all, in all honesty, there has been just a, really a cornucopia of errors here. Like there hasn't really any been any one signature error here. But before we continue to go on, I want to give a very clear disclaimer that I'm not very happy with you staying Torp here. What's the issue with Torp here, chat? It's not just the enemy composition as Hanzo, Mercy, uh, Anna. Sigma, right, which denies, like, the big thing about Torbid, right, is the burglar alarm. Who do you need burglar alarm for on the enemy team, right? There's no flank, like, burglar alarms are better against smaller, squishier heroes, right? The enemy team is taking angles, yeah, but, the, but they're not, like, on your back line. So the Torb is a lot less attractive. Um, but what's the other issue here? Yeah, th this, this is like, this is like a flipping Manchester City soccer field. Like, this is, this is like no man's land here. If you're not running hit scan here, you better be running somebody who can hide and like get value out of mobility. 
because this is monstrously wide open. Turret isn't gonna do squat. There's way too many angles and flanks that you can play at. Way too easy for them to break. I, I don't know what you do here. So I guess we're gonna keep hoping that you at least put some thought into your turret. But honestly, it's like it's like trying it'd be like trying to like like create a, a masterpiece with you know you know cow manure. Like your your materials are limited here. So I don't think anybody can make this work. I thought the torp turret placement was okay. Because it's like controlling the angle, right? Like it's kind of scuffed. Yeah, I think this is okay-ish. Before? What? I foresee great things. What are you guys talking about? What are you guys on about? For you. Why? Why did you do that? Why did you do that to me? Why? Is, are you happy now? I'm sad. I'm frustrated again. Brilliant. But your minor distraction was an ultimate. Okay. I like the turret placement again. You're late with it, so you're gonna have to pop your E, which sucks. But chat, why do why is this turret placement good? Again, why are we turret placement placing in their backline and not in ours? What about the enemy's composition makes this the correct choice? Think. Yeah, there's there's no there's no flanks, right? Like the flanks are relatively basic. You see what I'm saying? Like they're not running Sombra or Tracer or Ball. So do you need a turret on your backline? Like who on the enemy team? Is going to be on your back line nobody genji's genji's a very very hybrid flanker like genji doesn't generally hard flank it's not he's he's very bad at it he's not very, he's not near as mobile as somber tracer he doesn't have sustain either so what you let what you do instead is you could either deny an angle by like turning here right or like you know here or you do it aggressively like this so i think this is fine i think i, I like this i just don't like having the fact that we use e And obviously the problem here too is that I'm not sure if this is something you can communicate as well, but you need to know where your team is actually going to take a fight because again, we have the problem like that we had in first point where your turret's going to break before the fight even starts. <coughs> so this turret placement was really good if your fight is, team is taking the fight here. But if your team is taking the fight back here, the turret placement is literal hot trash. In which case you would want to turret up here. You'd want to turret, um, I don't know where you turret. You turret inside the mini. Uh, lots of different options. So that's depressing. But let's actually stop for a quick second. Is this tourist pl placement good? You guys are dumb as rocks. You guys don't even know what you're saying. Yes, no, I mean yes. So let's let's stop. Where are we taking the fight? Is it aggressively positioned on an angle or is it defensively positioned on an angle? So here's my argument. I say no because you... Ah! Just drop my brush. Because as we walk out from spawn, what do we see? I mean, this is all the information that you need to know whether it's a good turret placement or not. I see, hmm, enemy team Ana. Do you see your Reinhardt? No. So what does that tell you? Your Reinhardt's not fighting here. Okay? There's no fight going on here. So... While this turret maybe could be positioned if you guys are fighting more aggressively, you clearly aren't. So it's not a good turret. Like, you guys don't have to be, like, big mega brains, you know what I'm saying, to know if it's a good turret placement or not. It's, oh my gosh, what, what have I done? It's bad because your team is not fighting there. So it's, it's not just, oh, well, they can break it easily. Well, how can they break it easy? They can break it easy because it's literally in front of your Reinhardt shield. Yeah, exactly. Exactly who said that? Watson. Exactly Watson. They can it's the first thing they see. Like last time there was a little bit of confusion about where you guys are fighting. You thought you were playing further up. You don't have that same excuse here. Like it's very obvious. Like Stevie Wonder could see this. Right? 
and, and you blow your E, you almost die, and you get a mediocre crit replacement. This is like risking it all for a, like, uh, for like, uh, for a Diet Coke. You're, it just, it's just wrong all the way through. What's the problem with, what's the, what's the problem with this turret? Because, because it was, to again, I didn't have a problem with the previous site. There's nothing you could do. You did a great job. But what's the problem with this turret? Is this a back door that we need to guard? No, exactly. It's front line. It's front line. Your turret should never be front line, almost ever, unless you're having to place it mid-fight. The goal should be that it is either guarding a back door, which in this situation, this back door is meaningless with their comp. They're, if they're playing Sombra Tracer Ball, different story. Or, and by the way, if they were playing Sombra Tracer Ball, this turret would still be bad because you'd want it behind, like, behind cover, like to where they could, it couldn't be spammed from main. Or you hold your turret like here, right? Or, you know, right here. Or if you're going to take an aggressive fight, like right around this corner here, right? Those are the angles that you care about. Or, you know, if, if you had time to back here, you see what I'm saying? So obviously this turret is not going to swing this fight. I would be very skeptical of this turret actually swinging this fight. But it is a continuation of a problem that we have seen multiple times. So I'm going to bring it up. Why, why are you eating so late? Are you gonna get your trips plus set up? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. This turret placement is bad. Now, chat, we talked about this as a potentially being a good turret, right? Remember early on when we were talking about turret placement, this was one of the ones that we considered. But why is it a bad turret? What's the problem with this turret? Come on. Look at the enemy comp. It's really close to the enemy. Right, this is not an angle that matters anymore. This turret is okay if they're like, you know, Sombra or Tracer or Ball, but we see that they're on spam. And so optimally, you would go, okay, they're on Echo. I'm going to throw my turret like right here. So if this Echo does this stupid flank, she's going to get like smashed. Or like I could put my turret like right in here. So if they commit to this flank, I'll start to put, well, maybe not there. Uh, like this is not, this would be one where you could put it on high ground, right? Or you could put it in here and like actually put pressure from behind. Like here's the thing, chat. You have time to do that. You have time to set it up if it isn't broken and you're just waiting on cooldown. Like it just is now available. You don't have time to set up where you want to now. So it's, it, what I'm saying is because you're going greedy for like a little bit of extra ult charge, but you're doing it too close to your team. Like if you greeted it out here, different story, right? But because you're greeting it here, you do not have time to look at the enemy's composition or look at anything and make a judgment call about where to position it. And my guess is that you probably wouldn't put it here in any circumstance. Turret, please. Turret, 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 turret. Thank you. No! 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 This, this is my tool, not yours. When you use it, you almost lose team fights because you're screwing around. When I use it, I deliver justice. Like, I, I, mid-fight, you just have to throw it wherever you can see. You know, you don't really care too much. But it's the fact that he had to just panic when instead of he could have gone, okay, spam, no flankers. All right, I put it here. Right? Okay, spam, the flingers, I put it here. You know what I'm saying? You missed out. To um, be more like strategic about your turret placement, because there were some turrets I really liked and some I really hated. So be more strategic about that. Do you have any questions?